When it comes to royal families, in ancient times, the only thing worse than not having any sons was having too many. The Bible tells us that King David is growing old. It's time to think about succession. Who is going to sit on the throne after he passes? Now, we know that his son Solomon will ultimately rule after David. However, at that time, Solomon is only 12 years old. He has an older brother, Adoniyahu, or Adonijah, and he's thinking, I am far more qualified than my kid brother to become king after my father. And so he gathers up a bunch of his friends and a number of officials from King David's court to anoint himself king. Now, Bathsheba, the wife of David and the mother of Solomon, she hears about this and she runs into David and says, David, you know that my son Solomon is meant to rule after you. And the Bible tells us that David says, take the high priest Sadok, Nathan the prophet, and other officials from my court and go and take Solomon down to the Gihon Spring in the city of David, the place where Jerusalem began, and anoint him king at that spot. We are standing here on the edge of where the waters of the Gihon Spring would have flowed during the time of Solomon into this pool just behind me over here. And it is on this very spot where they would have anointed Solomon king and shouted the words recorded in the Bible, long live King Solomon. Because when you're in the place where the Bible happened, the words of the Bible come to life. The city of David, where it all began.